Okay, let's sneak up on the frogs. There's one. Ew, what is that? There's another one. What's going on over here? What is that greasy looking mess right there? Huh. Come on, Tommy. Family over for the weekend. Well, we, yeah. Yep, we have family over for the weekend. And it's good. We talked about all the stuff you're not supposed to talk about. Politics, religion. Angel Clark versus, no, Angel Clark. Angel Reese versus Caitlin Clark. <laughs> no, there's no controversy there. Um, it's beautiful day. Today is the Feast of St. Cyprian of Carthage, St. Cornelius, Pope St. Cornelius, Tommy, wait, Gus, Pope St. Cornelius, who is intertwined with uh, St. Cyprian, who didn't convert until he was 56 years old. He was taught literature and rhetoric, I think, either, ta yeah, taught. Come on, Tommy. Tommy. And um, I don't know what brought his conversion. A, uh, I forget if it was a bishop or what, what the, who it was. But someone did. Someone did it. And uh, Cyprian went on to be one of the, or as I've said before, the second in line behind Tertullian, Tertullian of um, writers in the Latin church of his day. He was born in 190, died in 258, lived to be 68 years old, and then he lost his head. Hey, do we have one of those, whatever those things are going on over here? Gus, come here. Hey, come here. Every once in a while back here, there'll be what looks like mosquitoes or flying termites or something coming out of these big, huge trees that dropped. Right now, it's pretty lush with weeds. All overgrown. What is that thing? What is this called? Stop. Wait, stop. No, this way. Hey, 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 hey. Come here. I'm the captain here. Priest. What is that? I mean, I know it's a weed, and I know it's got some red. The uh, trunk is red, the branches goes up. That thing will go six feet tall. But those berries look awfully tasty. Actually, that's a pretty view. It looks like it could be the jungles of Costa Rica. That's a pretty, I should take a picture of that. That looks nice. Anyway. I'm sure it wouldn't be too hard to find out what the name of these berries are. They're the ones that are all purple and get you messy if you touch them. They look tasty, but I'm guessing they're not. They're not. Uh, so let's um, ugh, oy. be careful what we eat. And let's remember to consume the Eucharist, if we're Catholic, to go to Mass, to weekly, to recognize the Eucharist and what, we're, what we are receiving, who we do become, as it said, um, So ask the saints to pray for us. Saint Cyprian of Carthage, pray for us. Saint Euphem Euphemesia of Chalcedon, pray for us. Saint 
Pope St. Cornelius. Is that what it was, Cornelius? Pope St. It was with a C. And there was another one that I said. So it's either Cornelius or... What did I say? Yeah, Cornelius. We'll go with that. Saint Pope St. Cornelius, pray for us. Let's pray for our country. Pray for uh, right judgment in this election season. I was reading articles about me. You're, you see, if you're on the internet, you're seeing a lot of memes and a lot of funny stuff and a lot of uh, just silliness, making fun, having fun um, of the things that our two candidates say and do and their actions and their um, idiosyncrasies. And, uh, yeah, I think if you take it in jest, um, but, okay, so now the, so the watermelon or whatever that is, looks like the plant is shrinking up, shriveling up. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's be sensible and, uh, do our due diligence and make right decisions. Toby, come. No on uh let's be responsible when we vote not because taylor swift said not because some meme says that so and so did this or so and so did that do your do your homework check and make sure what actually was said it's funny about the uh the fact checking and how they fact checked trump like multiple times and he is prone to hyperbole and he is and i wish he wouldn't do that I wish he wouldn't say everything is the greatest, this was the biggest, this was the largest. And I think most people, we know Trump now, and we know that he's exaggerating, and I don't even think he mean, he believes that this is the biggest crowd or the biggest this or the biggest that, but Tubby, no! But, and whether or not he believes that cats and dogs are being eaten in the streets of Iowa, Ohio or not, I don't know. But the, hey, Toby, it's sort of like the Bible. There's, every word doesn't have to be taken as literal, but everything has to be taken as truth. What's the message behind it? So here's the message behind the cat and dog for dinner routine. You had a town that had like, I think it was 60 or 50,000 people in it. And then you inundated it with, I believe, 20,000 Haitian immigrants. So what's going to happen when you add, what is that? I never figured that out. 33% more or 25% more? I don't know. When you add this huge amount of people to your, who are from a completely different culture and you add them to your, into your society, just carte, without, carte blanche, without without any uh without any way to work on assimilation or minimal what do you think is going to happen there's going to be culture clash of course and i think that's the point and i think that if you have a small town with a small base tax base and then you say here now add 25 or 30 percent to your population of people who are for the most part a lot going to need are going to need a lot of the services that are provided by taxes. And they're going to be literally everywhere you are now, because it's going to be one, one of every four people in your town. So when you're going to do that, what do you think is going to happen? Of course, it's going to take a little time to work on and to overcome and work out the details. And that just brings me to a thought about the abortion to the states and, and, and all the uh, leaving it up to the states and the doctors not being able to make a decision. That's ridiculous. If there's a life and death situation, any doctor worth his salt should make the decision to protect the life of the mother if that's the case. The, again, these things are gonna take a little while to work out. This is all very new. It's, all, it's been 50 some odd years we've been having supposed having legal abortion because we completely lost our minds and now it's going to take a little time to adjust and within a year or two all these little these things should be worked out could it have been done better who knows but uh but those things will be worked out it'll get figured out it's not like there's some scenario with birth 
uh, and women that hasn't already happened for the last 10,000 years. We know all those things. So, yeah, let's, um, Gus, stay still. Stay. So let's, uh, yeah, try to use some common sense. And uh, remember, you're going to get what you pay for. So if you vote because Taylor Swift said something or because you saw some meme, then remember, go back to the meme and complain. Go back to Taylor and complain if you don't get, if it, things don't work out right. Uh, no, you won't be able to do that, will you? No, you won't. So think carefully. What you vote is going to be your responsibility. And that's, uh, that's going to be on you. You can't come back to Taylor Swift and say, well, you said this. It doesn't work that way. Okay, so let's uh, ask the saints to pray for us. Please pray for the souls of purgatory.